Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to take a look at the, the gate node. Now I'm going to look at the simple gate node. There are, there are actually other gate nodes like the Q gate node. You can see I've installed that one down here. Um, I'll put a, the exact name of this node in the video description so you know exactly which one I'm using and I'll show you it in a second as well. Um, so if you want to use it you'll know exactly which one. Say there's lots of different gate nodes you can actually use. You can see here I've got the Q gate node installed as well. But this is the the one I use the most. It's very very simple and the idea is you have messages coming in here and if it's open it lets the messages go through. If it's closed it blocks the messages. So here we've got a simple MQTT node sending the messages out and we've got one receiving them into a debug node so we can actually see the message. Now it's closed so if I inject a message in here it doesn't go anywhere. Um, but if I open it and I send the message you can see it comes through. Very very simple, very straightforward. Now I use it for a lot in debugging where you've got stream of messages coming in and you're trying to debug it here but there's lots of messages coming in so you just want to stop the messages and pause the messages while you you take a look at them and then you just close the gate and stop the messages coming in. Uh, I also use it um, to start flows. Now you want the, the flow to start in a, in a known state so when it when it starts up you basically close the gate so it's it's in the closed state so nothing's coming through here and when you're ready the flows up and up and running uh, after predetermined time usually you use one of these um, inject nodes and if you look at it here you can see you can actually inject it after so many seconds so you in, inject after say 10 seconds everything's up and running and then you open the gate and let the messages come through. Now in most cases the message is basically a pulse. Um, a lot of the time I use this inject node here as a timer so you set it at, at intervals to go every five seconds and it may be that you're actually um, polling something so you're using an HTTP request node and you every five seconds you send a request using the HTTP request node. So to make sure that the everything's up and running before you actually pull it you basically keep the gate closed and then you open it when you're ready. So quite a lot of different uses for this um, and I say very simple and very effective node. So let's see how it works. So we've got a control topic which is we're going to use control that is the default you can change it uh, but there's no real reason to. Um, set the default state. Uh, we can restore the state from memory so if we uh, if we want to actually bring it into a, a, the last state it was in we can use the memory option but we're just going to put a default state so when it boots up it's going to be closed and the other command, the commands we can send in are open close which are obvious, open the gate, close the gate, toggle the gate so it goes from close to open or from open to close Default puts it in a default state which is closed and the status will just give you the status of, of the actual gate itself. So to control it I'm just using simple inject nodes. So I'm setting the payload to open and the topic to control and here I'm doing the opposite setting the payload to close and the topic to control and you've seen that before that it works I can open it and I can close it. And now to finish off I just added a another inject node here and this time we're going to look at the status and this is useful if you, you actually uh, want to uh, know the status of node whether whether it's actually closed or whether it's open so you can do something and so we need a, a status node here and I've got the status node here I'm looking at all nodes but really um, what I need to look at is the the gate node, that one there. Let's just deploy it. Okay, so if I click on there and inject the status, you see here we get the status in the debug node and the status is closed and if I now open it, 
and I click on the status we should find it it's open there we go there so quite useful um, and I say you, you may need in somewhere in the flow to actually know the status of, of the gate uh, whether it is open or closed and so that's the way you do it by using the control message status and one, and the status node to pick up that message okay a very quick video um, if you've got any comments then leave them below if you want to get notified of new videos then you can always subscribe to the channel uh, so until next time uh, goodbye